What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, I'm bringing Lycanroc to the Great League. I finally was able to get one from trades when I was in Frankfurt for the European International Championships, but we're also pairing it with Skarmory and Gliscor there. Gliscor safe swap, I think is pretty nice in the meta. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Lycanroc, and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Lycanroc on the lead versus Venusaur. So this is not the best of matchups on the lead, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap out right away into Gliscor and they are deciding to stay in so I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Night Slash right away. I'm looking to do as much chip damage as possible. Now I'm going to guess right here with a Venusaur lead that there might be a Galarian Stunfisk in the back. It's a very common core. So I'm going to go ahead and shield the Frenzy Plant and they decide to bring in Talonflame. So Talonflame obviously does pretty well um, against my backline here with Skarmory and Gliscor with the uh, neutral damage and super effective damage, but we get an attack boost right there. That is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. I think I can survive, but it was a Brave Bird. Boom, Gliscor goes down. So I'm in kind of a tough situation here. I'm gonna have to come in with Lycanroc and go for the Psychic Fang right now just before they get enough energy to throw another charge move so hopefully they decide to let this go I would really like to keep my shield so they do decide to let it go now Venusaur is going to come back in but thankfully it is so low that we can now threaten with our psychic fangs right here to get a shield and then we're going to go ahead and swap into the Skarmory and they swap right away but it's actually a Toxicroak in the back not a Galarian Stunfist so this actually works out pretty well for me I'm going to be able to go for two sky attacks here to finish off the game and that is going to be a good battle battle. Um, I am kind of worried at a, about a potential dynamic punch, so I will shield this charge move right here. We don't want to get caught getting hit with dynamic punch, so I will give up a shield. It was just a mud bomb, which is fine. I will be able to farm down as mud bombs not going to do enough damage to take me out. And then we will be able to take out the Venusaur here with a sky attack. And that is going to be a good battle. My plan was if there was a Galarian Stunfisk in the back was to get it low enough where I could come in and just load up on energy with Lycanroc and close out with a double psychic fangs. Um, but either way, good battle right there. All right, moving into the next battle. We have... Lycanroc on the lead versus Kanto Ninetales, a shadow one at that. So actually a pretty positive lead for us considering we fully resist um, these charge moves right here. We obviously got to watch out for the potential solar beam, but Psychic Fangs is still going to put a lot of pressure here on the Ninetales. They decided to no shield and I get a bunch of go battle lag. This has been happening a lot recently. They swap out into Trevenant and I don't know how many fast moves they are ahead. I have no clue on the counts right now so I'm gonna go ahead and I believe I decide to shield this first one and it is gonna be a shadow ball so that is perfect that's a good shield on us we're gonna go ahead and go for a sky attack now um, to try to force a shield here from the Trevenant and then we will have to see what they decide to do because I still have a good answer I think this is just gonna be um, it actually might be another shadow ball right here I'm gonna go ahead and no shield it was another shadow ball that is so unfortunate I'm gonna try to farm down but I don't um, I'm not able to right there, which is very tough, and I'm going to have to come in and load up on some energy. I'm going to go ahead and come in with Gliscor right here and get that wing attack off. Now, they decide to bring in the Ninetales. Nope, there's a wall right in the back. I got to swap right away, draw out the Ninetales once again, and try to force a shield here. Um, because remember, wall rain can destroy my Gliscor, so I got to keep it away from that. We do get the final shield, and I believe I can safely shield this right here and fully farm down and then go for a Stone Edge, but this is going to be in incredibly close we're gonna go ahead and try our best to farm down they get to another charge move in time but we should be able to hang on to the weather ball right here as we do resist it but my goodness that was very close now it's gonna be a race wall rain versus lycanroc stone edge versus ice school spear and we get to the stone edge in time you always love to see a satisfying boom in these videos boom one shots the wall rain and that is going to be a good battle very well played all right, moving into the next one, we have Lycanroc on the lead versus Umbreon. So somewhat of a decent matchup for us. Um, unfortunately for us though, these foul plays are going to do quite a bit of damage, but what we're going to do is just load up on some energy and go straight for that stone edge. Most Umbreons will not be shielding, especially on the lead in these kind of neutral situations. As you can see, foul play does a lot right there. So we're just going to go straight for the stone edge because if they no shield it and we threw a psychic fangs, it's just going to do no damage. So we're just going to go ahead, throw that stone edge, it lands, and then we are going to, uh, I should have swapped out. I think I swap out in another battle. 
we're going to go ahead and shield on this one and try to farm down right here get as much energy as possible so we're actually looking pretty good right here they do decide to bring in venusaur so we're going to go ahead and throw the psychic fangs doing super effective damage and applying the debuff and it will allow us to swap into gliscor safely right here and we should we are looking actually pretty good now they're not swapping out which tells me maybe they are double weak to flying in the back uh, which gives Skarmory a lot more play. So I'm going to go ahead and no shield the charge move and go for a Night Slash now just to force the final shield here from Venusaur as I think if it lands, it's going to be enough to take it out. We do get the final shield. It's going to be a race. We get an attack boost and we get to the final Night Slash Gliscor popping off with these boosts right here. So we will be able to take out Venusaur. Final Pokemon is going to be actually Galarian Stunfist. So hopefully I can get to one more Night Slash in time. Now this is going to be a somewhat counter intuitive play that I'm going to do, but it'll you'll understand once I do it. I'm coming in with Skarmory right here. Skarmory, even though we take neutral damage from Rock Slide, it's not going to be enough to take us out, and I need them to dump their energy. So here comes the first charge move. As you guys are going to see, Rock Slide, not going to do too much. It's not too threatening right now. So I want them to throw all their energy, which they do, which means I can safely swap into my Lycan Rock um, and go for counters and a Psychic Fangs right here. The Psychic Fangs applying that debuff is going to be perfect for Skarmory to win this game with a charge move. So we do get the defense drop counters, ripping apart the Galarian Stunfisk, and we are one fast move away from Sky Attack, but I'm going to go for the Brave Bird right here um, to close the game out, and they decide to surrender so good battle very well played all right moving into the next one we have Lycanroc versus Umbreon again so this is where I was mentioning before it's a good lead for us but I think I want to try to catch the charge move but they actually swap into Jumpluff instead now Jumpluff is one of those Pokemon um, where it's I wouldn't say it's the best safe swap in my opinion I think there's far too many flyers, but honestly, with acrobatics, it can actually do a decent amount of damage here to Skarmory, and I'm looking to basically try to fully farm this thing down. Now, in hindsight, should I have thrown a Sky Attack before the second acrobatics? Yeah, probably, um, but we're just going to go ahead and load up on energy, and I'm forced now to throw a Sky Attack right here. I really can't fully farm down like I would be able to against Tropius, which is the same typing, but Jump Luff goes down. We're going to see the Umbreon come back in, so we're just going to go ahead and go for a Sky Attack right here. I want to try to get a Sky Attack and a Brave Bird if I can, but I'm actually reading that there might be another Grass in the back considering they safe swapped one, so I'm going to guess Tropius maybe in the back. So I'm going to save my Skarmory, swap into the Gliscor right here to force the Umbreon to stay in, because if they do, they're obviously weak to Gliscor as well in the back, which means I'm just going to go ahead and go for an Earthquake right here. Now, Foul Play's really starting to add up. So I may have to shield at some point, but either way, Switch Clock is um, coming back relatively soon. So as if I can land this Earthquake or even get a shield, Lycanroc can really load up on some energy here against the Umbreon. And they decided um, to no shield it, and it's actually a Lolan Marowak in the back. So this is something I kind of fear. Obviously, it's the Goat, and it's a Shadow Goat right here. So these Night Slashes will be forcing a shield, which is exactly what I need. We still get a boost as well. This Gliscor is popping off today. And now it is up to Lycanroc to close this game out. Two shields to one shield, Alolan Marowak with energy. We're going to go ahead and shield, throw up two shields, right? I don't even care. I'm just double shielding. And what I'm going to have to do in order to win this game is get a successful shield bait with Psychic Fangs and then throw the Stone Edge. It, it hurts so bad um, to land a stone edge against the goat, but we got to do it. So we're going to go ahead and throw the psychic fangs right here. We do get the shield and now we just got to go for the stone edge and oh, rest in peace, shadow goat. You will be missed and I can't wait to use you myself once frustration is gone. Boom! The goat goes down and Umbreon goes down to one counter. So that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving into the next one, we have Lycanroc versus Skarmory on the lead. Pretty good for us right here. They're going to go ahead and swap out into Venusaur, so I'm going to swap into Skarmory. Um, I'm, for me personally, when it comes to my own battles, Grass-type Pokemon usually aren't the best safe swaps. I think we're seeing this rise in these Grass safe swaps because 
um, of Araquanid. So maybe that is the point to kind of draw that out while still doing neutral damage. Um, but honestly, with Skarmory right here, we're just going to be able to lock down this Venusaur and get all the energy in the world. Um, now, unfortunately, we weren't able to take them out before this final Frenzy Plant, but that's okay. They get me low enough, and the Switch Clock is coming back up where I can go ahead and go for a Brave Bird here. Now, I believe that was Deadney that came in, so we'll have to see. I think it was Deadney. Um, yeah, excuse me. It was Deadney, so I'm going to be able to go for a Brave Bird and a Sky Attack here to force a shield now. And then we are going to um, let ourselves go down. We're going to come in with Gliscor right here and just do as much damage as we can um, because Lycanroc can win this game for us against the Skarmory and the Deadney. So we're going to no shield it. It's going to be a play rough, still does a ton of neutral damage. But that's okay. This Night Slash here might just force the final shield from our opponent. And then we will swap into Lycanroc right here um, when they swap into the Shadow Skarmory. And that is looking to be a good game as we do resist all the charge moves. And we are just going to go ahead and shield anyways. Load up on some energy and boom this thing out of the sky with some stone edges. So Sky Attack is going to go ahead and be blocked right there. Lycanroc, we're going to make sure we overload a lot on energy, put them in a false sense of security that we're going to go for Psychic Fangs, and then we're just going to go ahead and go straight for the Stone Edge right here. Boom! Skarmory goes down, and then we will be able to take out the Deadney with the Psychic Fangs, which I think they decide to no shield it here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they decided to no shield. They did have a shield left, but it was the game was over, so... Good battle, very well played. And that was the final battle. So another fun team, unique Pokemon that you guys can use in the Great League, Lycanroc, Skarmory, and Gliscor. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.